what's up weirdos, I'm Felicia and I like scary movies and if you missed my live stream reveal, this is my new hair. The red is gone for now. This is my fall look. As my subscriber Ben said, it's very Lily Munster, which I like, I'm into that. And it casually matches my uh, black cherry white claw, which is just cute. Okay, so it is September. We are into our September fall cozy season and our first review. And we're starting off with The Owners 2020 VOD releases, baby. This one I wouldn't have even known about, but Emma from Spooky Astronauts put it in her September VOD releases video. I will link it down below if you guys want to check it out. There's a lot of good ones in there. And I'm glad she talked about it because I actually quite enjoyed it, but I'm gonna get all into it. Let's get some basics down first. This is a UK home invasion style horror movie. It is loosely based on a graphic novel that I'm going to ahem, butcher the name of now. Un nuit de plein une. This is the feature length debut of director Julius Berg, and he co wrote this movie with Matthew Gompol. Now, let's go ahead and get into a little bit of plot. So, we have three young people that are breaking into this beautiful old house to steal a bunch of money they think is locked in a safe. Our most famous actor of the movie, played by Maisie Williams, plays a girlfriend who kind of gets roped into this whole mess by accident. And the movie gets wild when the adorable old British couple comes home and turns the table on these youngsters. Now this movie definitely reminded me of the 2016 film Don't Breathe. It's very different, but it's got a very similar concept of young people breaking into old person's home, the predator becomes the prey, and you know, crazy old people. And this movie has a very different twist than Don't Breathe. There are no turkey basters in this one, but it does have a strong twist nonetheless. And now what did I like about this movie? So. First of all, the old couple, just amazing. So we have Sylvester McCoy from Lord of the Rings. He plays this seemingly sweet old man named Richard. I think he's also Irish. His accent is just everything. It's just everything in this movie. And Richard just wants to take care of his dear wife, Ellen, played by Rita Tushingham. And she's kind of losing her mind, so he's kind of helping her out. And it's just, they are the most adorable old couple. When they come home, and they're like, oh no, oh no, not the, not the burglary, oh no. It is the saddest, sweetest thing I've ever seen in my life. Their personalities are so sweet, it is sinister. And then they obviously go off the rails into crazy old people territory, which is just one of my faves. And in terms of the burglars, uh, they're all very unlikable characters. They're all just doing terrible things but I do love their accents once again. I'm sorry I keep saying that. And uh, they are, I think, good actors. So let's go through them. First of all, we have Ian Kenny, who plays Nathan, who's sort of attempting to be the leader of the group, but is casually failing. Then we have Jake Curran. He plays Gaz, who's like kind of the muscle of the group, the super terrifying evil one. Then we have Andrew Ellis, who plays Terry, who's just this very sad, pathetic boy. That's just very sad. And then once again, Maisie Williams playing Mary. So in terms of all the actors, I think everyone really did a great job. And the next thing I really liked was just the brutalness. Uh, is that a word? Brutalness of this movie. And I mean in terms of the gore, yes, but also in terms of like the attitude of the characters and everything. It's just, it's really intense at times. <laughs> and in a movie like this where you have two different groups that kind of end up both being the victims and both end up being the villain. It's fun to be going back and forth about who you're scared for, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now, is this a perfect movie? No. There is some like unnecessary subplot. Uh, the twist itself gets a little bit like muddy or something. Not muddy, because it's very clear what's going on. But it's just not, it's not a mind blowing twist. I wasn't like, oh my God. I was kind of like, oh, okay. But overall, I thought this was a really solid home invasion film. And just in terms of September movies, I think the fact that it takes place in the British countryside or whatever, and something about the way it's lit, it does have like a little bit of a cozy feeling to it. So I would definitely recommend you guys checking this one out. It's on Amazon and potentially other places as well, but I will link the film down below for you if you want to check it out. And I think that's kind of it. If you go and watch this movie, make sure you come back and tell me what you thought of it down in the comments. 
And I think that's it, people. I'm gonna finish my White Claw and uh, have a nice screen. Bye.